So one of our students asked if let's say they were to make products at home, what kind of test can they do? Okay, so test ni, the reason why you do a test is to make sure that the product is safe and effective lah for the person who's using it. So because of that, there are two types of tests that you can do. One is the one that is supposed to be done by the person who's using this product. So every person is different. Even though your product is natural, doesn't mean that the person who's going to use it is not going to have any irritation. So the best thing to do is when you are doing a product, let's say if it's like for body, then what you have to do is you have to do a patch test on your arm area. So macam kat sini, you just put on the arm area kat sini and then lepas tu, just leave it for about 24 hours and see if there's any reaction. So katakanlah, if you're using soap, then you just wash Wash that arm area, wash it off which I mean you're supposed to, but then leave it for 24 hours to see if there's any reaction. Or if let's say if you're using things like serum that's supposed to be meant to be kept on your skin for 12 hours, you do the same thing. Keep it on your skin, on your arm for 12 hours and then lepas tu baru uh, see the reaction after 24 hours. Now if you're doing it on your face, if let's say it's a skincare, then do put it behind your ears to see if there's any reaction or not. So that's what we call as patch test. Every single person who purchases your product have to do patch test. Now, second thing that you have to do is uh, lab test. So lab test ni is like us here. So we have a GMP factory again. So we have lab test for every product that we make. Okay, so let me just show you an example of our soap lab punya product lah, yeah? So let me show you our soap lab's product, okay? So this is soap lab's product and it's one of our serum. So one thing that you have to do is uh, my microbial test. So the microbial test is, as you can see, is almost zero or absent. The reason why you do this test is to make sure that your preservative is strong enough. So kalau your preservative is not strong enough to kill off all the bacteria that probably was introduced to this, then it's not safe to be used and the shelf life will be lesser. The next test that you have to do is heavy metal test. So you see when you make use natural products like this, like you know if you're using clays or colorants and so on, all these are natural. It comes from the ground, right? And these things might have lead or mercury in it. And so that's why you have to do a heavy metal test to make sure that there's no lead or arsenic or anything like that in your product so that it's safe to be used. Now the best thing to do is of course to buy only cosmetic grade ingredients. So most of the items that we sell in Soplat Malaysia here is mostly cosmetic grade products and we have COA and we have done lab tests for almost all the ingredients already and we have used it already. So if let's say you were to make product from home, I would suggest that you get products that already tested, ingredient that's already tested. Now if you have any other questions, do comment below or if you have any, you want to purchase ingredients or anything like that or you want any of our previous recipes, do contact us. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.